Thank you very much for having us. Yeah. Next is this one, right? The green one, yeah. Okay. So, quartation of the aorta is, is a congenital disease in which the proximal descending thoracic aorta is narrowed due to a neointimal proliferation that creates a shell within the intima, uh, as shown in the picture here with the red arrow. This restriction of blood flow leads to uh, congestive heart failure and death if untreated. So um, uh, the incidence of this disease is 0.1, uh, is the, sorry, uh, quartation of the aorta accounts for 10% of all congenital heart disease with an incidence of 0.5 per thousand live births. Medical treatment followed for, uh, by surgical resection uh, uh, are the current uh, state, of, the state of treatment. Serious complication may occur uh, due to surgical repair. So the aim of this, um, the, is of this model is to develop an ex vivo model of quartation of the aorta uh, that is appropriate for focused ultrasound. Oh. For this model, we harvested a aorta um, um, we use seven centimeter segment uh, of aorta using a full pump and a pulse type uh, control pressure. In this video, we can see how the um, oh sorry. In this video, we can see the uh, pulse uh, flow uh, in this uh, model. We use uh, the ultrasound uh, um, probe uh, on top of the water uh, of the water tank. Then we injected 7% of um, 0.5 milliliters of 7% uh, skin pores in gelatin within the lumen of the aorta in order to create this uh, shelf, sort of. As you can see here, um, sorry. As you can see here, this is the, oh. This is the blood we have created uh, with the skin pores in gelatin, as it could be seen exactly right here. Then uh, we perform a uh, ultrasound imaging, and as you can see, uh, on your left, the baseline aorta, and on your right, you can see the gelatin that it was introduced into the lumen, causing an obvious alteration of the flow. Then we perform a pulse weight doppler in which uh, we can see that the speed of flow of the baseline is 15 centimeters per second with a resistive index of 0.23, whereas on the quartation model, the velocity increased up to 32.5 centimeters per second with a resistive index of 0.75. Then the aorta was taken to high food planning uh, using uh, the Tritella MR facility and, um, uh, and a balanced gradient equal sequence. Uh, and, the per, and the protocol we were using is uh, 900 watts, uh, 51 seconds, and a duty cycle of 0.01%. So six spots were hit uh, on the gelatin mass, and then uh, the Doppler U US imaging was performed after that. In this video, we depict the radiation for the effects over the year that you can see. Oh. That you can see exactly here. Then we perform a, an, an ultrasound a control after high food therapy. And as you can see on your left, the quartation pre high food therapy, there's a, a, the obvious alteration of the flow, whereas on the other side, there, there is an increase in the flow. The Powell's pulse uh, wave doppler um, showed us that there is a decrease in the speed of flow, although there, there was no increase of the gelatin mass, and actually the velocity decreased to 16.5 centimeters almost the baseline aorta. Then we took the aorta uh, out of the um, water tank, and as you can see here, the gelatin mass seemed to be empty, but no um, a macroscopic damage could be documented in the aorta. So the conclusion is that this vivo porcel model of quartation of the aorta is a reproducible way to study the behavior of the aortic bolt uh, and changes in flow dynamics. Also, there is an increase in the velocity and the resistive index in the creation of the quartation model. And with boiling isotripsy, we could change that. And there was no microscopic damage to a aortic wall due to boiling isotripsy. In the future directions, we will uh, increase the number of samples because we only have three samples. And we are going to try to create comparison groups. Also, we are, uh, we are aiming to develop an in vivo model 
um, in order to document any microscopic damage to the aortic wall. And uh, at last, and something that is very important is to evaluate the, um, the behavior of the hum of a real human quotation to boiling isotripsy, um, but it will be in a future directions. We want to thank the Laval Family Heart Center and the, and the CIHR for the funding provided. Thank you very much. Questions? Um, so maybe I missed it. Did you were treating it while it was pulsing, or you were treating it um, in a static case? No, it was static. Uh, actually, the idea was to, uh, at the first moment, to create the pulp, uh, the pump with a flow um, with a flow pump and the pulse um, mo uh, model. We did it at first. Then we took back, uh, we took the aorta back to uh, to create the model. Then we uh, put it back uh, to receive the high food therapy, and then we made it. So I don't know if it's clear. Yeah, I, I was curious if you think uh, how you do deal with motion. In, in, we we, we didn't use uh, any motion during the experiment right. because actually that's one of the things that we we wanted to see if if it was possible to aim something so tiny. And actually, if there, there, was, there was no any microscopic damage to the aortic wall. That's what we were looking for. Thank you.